So we're doing a, a conversion of our front lawn to a veggie producing um, garden and a food forest. We're really looking forward to um, having our own crops of spinach, kale, lettuce, uh, strawberries. We have been wanting to make some changes to grow veggies for a couple of years and we're grateful that it's happening right now when we've learned about permaculture. Permaculture is really a contraction of the words permanent and agriculture or permanent culture. So it's a system of design that's inspired by patterns in nature to create systems that are anti-fragile, that actually grow stronger over time. They use less maintenance, less work, less energy over time. Probably the biggest question I get asked is, will it look messy? Will I get complaints from my neighbors? And I think that's a misconception. I think actually permaculture and this kind of natural food producing landscape can look really elegant. It can look really beautiful and look really neat and have a lot of curb appeal, but also have fruit that you can pick, mushrooms growing, bees and birds flying in and out of your yard. We don't find ourselves using the front yard very much at all. And so um, this to us is sort of just a, a dead buffer space. Um, that could be much more attractive and much more useful. Um, and then certainly, yeah, the, the other motivation was to be able to draw in the community. I'd love to see people interacting more with their neighbors out on the street, sharing food, building community around food that they're growing in their front yards. Five years ago, the city was still ticketing people for having you know, wild looking or natural looking yards for having potentially native species sort of scattered around their front yards. And in the last five years that we've been operating, the city has totally changed their tune on that. They're much more open to naturalized yards, food producing yards, and they actually give out an award at the Front Yards in Bloom Awards for permaculture landscapes and for naturalized landscapes. The city of Edmonton is very keen on helping people um, make their yards more natural, more friendly to birds, butterflies, bees, etc. And uh, so they asked us for our input on uh, their website for, on natural yards. Native plants are really tough because they've been growing here for literally thousands of years. The native plant beds absorb more water, so less water runs off into the river. There's less excess fertilizer and pesticides running off into the river, and that's a big deal. I think the biggest barrier to doing this is probably cultural, right? There's nothing really stopping people from digging up their lawns in the way we're doing today, digging swales. You know, everyone's got a shovel kicking around in their garage. You know, put it to use in your front yard. Um, but most people are, are tied to this idea of a lawn, of continuing to manicure a lawn. And until more and more people in your neighborhood start transitioning and growing more food and giving up the lawn, I think it's going to be a tough barrier to break through.